For centuries, explorers from around the world have searched for magical water, a curative spring, the fountain of youth, where pure and refreshing water could make the body healthy, resilient, and turn back the hands of time. Even in modern times, the search for healing water continues. When scientists conducted experiments on places where water was said to have miraculous properties, like Lourdes in France and glacial streams in the Himalayas, they made an amazing and important discovery. The pH levels of these beneficial waters tended to be very alkaline and highly ionized. About 40 years ago, Russian scientists ran ordinary water past magnetically charged plates and devised a simple method of separating water into two streams, one alkaline and one acidic, a process called ionization. This early ionization technology has been advanced and improved to the point that now simple tap water can be literally transformed into living, energized water with a wealth of life-changing properties. It's here now and has helped change the lives of millions of people. It's called alkaline ionized water. It's truly a miracle. Uh, it's, it's changed my entire body. It's changed the way I feel. I cannot go on without alkaline water. It changed my life. I renewed. I'm reborn. I had no expectations that drinking this water would do this for me. It's made a lot of difference in my life. It's, it changed my life totally. It's a wonderful water. I don't know who the idea was, but that water is, is, is good. This amazing water is like no other, containing millions of age-fighting antioxidants in every glass. It super hydrates the body, supplies important calcium and oxygen, and most importantly, helps eliminate harmful toxins and wastes. The sickness that I used to have, the ulcer, the um, allergy, they're all gone. The stiffness of my fingers, they're all gone. My digestive system had changed. My cravings for food had changed. And uh, uh, I, you know, I started to really feel a lot better than I had ever felt. Since I've been drinking the alkaline water, now it's, I, I have no more pain. I've been drinking alkaline mineral water for approximately seven months, and I've lost 45 to 50 pounds. I've been taking alkaline water for six months, going on to seven months now and I have not taken a single uh, allergy tablet since. Alkaline ionized water is loaded with negatively charged hydroxyl ions, which act as powerful and pervasive antioxidants in the body, actively seeking out positively charged free radicals that wreak havoc on our cells. When we take antioxidants, we're helping to neutralize the acids that are produced through metabolism. If you really need the antioxidant protection, nothing is more powerful than this water. Alkaline ionized water is actually restructured during electrolysis, which significantly improves hydration because the water becomes easier for the body to absorb and utilize. Water from tap or bottled sources is normally clustered in groupings containing 11 to 16 water molecules. But alkaline ionized water is reformed during ionization and the water molecules reduced to only about five to eight molecules per cluster. This allows the water to penetrate the cells easier and can help battle or prevent many of the problems associated with chronic dehydration, such as low energy, digestion disorders, constipation, and obesity. Microclustering splits the, the water, the size of the water clusters in half so that they are much more deeply penetrating in the body. They're able to actually enter the cell and cleanse the cell from within. Because rather than have a big ball trying to go into a cell, we have tiny little balls of H2O that can then permeate the membranes, hydrating that cell, which is so very, very important. I think women everywhere need to know how hydrating this is and, and what it can do for your skin. Alkaline ionized water is also oxygen saturated. As water is ionized, the percentage of oxygen to hydrogen increases significantly giving you a rich source of extra oxygen in a highly absorbable form, which can be almost double the amount of tap or bottled water. Drinking alkaline and ionized water provides extra oxygenation indirectly because when we're, when we're in an alkaline state, the body cells, particularly the blood cells, the erythrocytes then flow to every part of the body. We're hydrated 
And of course, the cells move through a river, and that river is an alkaline river. Perhaps most importantly, alkaline ionized water can help give your body back its own ability to function at its highest level and maintain a proper pH balance by providing a rich source of alkaline minerals like calcium, magnesium, and potassium that the body can easily use. I'm an athlete. I, I cycle. The recovery from my hard training uh, routines was decreased by probably half, uh, and that was incredibly significant as an athlete. The body will do everything it can to maintain that alkalinity by pulling electrons from the water we drink or the food we eat to maintain the delicate pH balance of the most important fluid of the body and that's the blood. The body has to work very hard to maintain its pH level because we are constantly producing acid wastes. Nutrients from our food are delivered to our cells which they burn with oxygen to provide energy for us to live leaving byproducts or wastes which are almost always acidic. Our bloodstream would normally just pick up these wastes and filter them through the liver, kidneys, colon or skin for elimination. But our high stress lifestyles, lack of rest, type of foods we eat, toxins or pollutants we're exposed to, and a myriad of other factors impact our body's ability to dispose of acidic wastes quick enough. So the body plays a clever trick converting acidic wastes to solid wastes, then storing the solid wastes in less critical areas like arteries, capillary blood vessels, or fat tissues. You see, most people don't understand the obesity equation, but obesity is the body in, perfect, in a perfect way protecting itself against overacidity. Some scientists even suspect that it's the accumulation of acidic wastes that triggers aging and disease. My foundational theory is that there's only one sickness and one dis disease and that's the overacidification of the blood then tissues. What causes this? Lifestyle and dietary choices. So all dis-ease is a consequence of choice. What we're eating, what we're drinking, and what we're thinking. 